Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Auburn Ale House. Uh, these guys are out of Auburn, California. This is their Isotope PU240. And uh, it's an Imperial IPA coming in at 8%. This was sent to me by Steve. So Steve, thanks a bunch, my friend, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, commercial description on this. And uh, Rate Beer has this as 100 IBUs, guys. So, big bitterness on this one compared to yesterday's 50 IBUs for the same type of beer, uh, double the IPA. Yesterday's was 7.5, this is 8, just a little bit just a little bit heavier, a little stronger, but the IBUs are doubled on this beer, so it should have strong bitterness on the back end. Would not be my first choice to get into an IPA, something with this much bitterness to it. Uh, you'd probably want to step into one with a, low, a lower bitterness and, and, uh, and go that route first couple or so before you move up to 60, 70, 80, 90, even into the 100 IBU range. So, commercial description says, named after the isotope essential for nuclear grade weapons, this weapons grade L, and it's got a girl on a, some kind of bomb, sitting on some kind of bomb, something like you'd see on uh, World War II uh, bombers. Uh, very reminiscent to me, uh, that type of artwork or graphics on, on the label here. Uh, said so this weapons grade ale is a hot bomb. You didn't see coming at 100 bittering units. PU240 captures the explosive hot flavor and aroma necessary to achieve a critical mass that you won't find in other high hop ales. A classified and combustible amount of Summit and Galena, Galena hops along with double dry hop bombardment of Simcoe, Columbus, and Nugget contribute to to PU240's high rate of spontaneous hop fusion. <laughs> I get chick chuckle out of some of these descriptions on these beers. Um, uh, if they're paying somebody to sit around and think this shit up or, or, or what, but some of them are, well, I get a chuckle out of them because they got big words that I've never heard or can't hardly pronounce. That doesn't mean anything. I've never been to college or anything. Never claimed to be any kind of English whiz or nothing, but I did graduate high school and uh, some of these descriptions just blow me away sometimes. Some of them are a necessary bunch of garbage and some of them uh, are kind of Funny, I think. Uh, get a chuckle out of them. Well, where I think they should just talk about the beer instead of putting a bunch of silly shit on them. But it is what it is. Alright, that's all we need to talk about here. We got the ABV, we got the IBUs. This particular bottle here says Ale Yeah on the side of it here. And on the side of the bottle here in white letters bottled on March 14th of 2017. So this beer is not even a month old. It's a very fresh beer. A very unique style of bottle, very reminiscent of me on you know, some of the bottles they may use across the pond or something. This is bigger than a 12 ounce. Uh, this says it is 1.9 fluid ounces, so uh, 500 milliliters. One pint is 16 ounces and 9 fluid ounces. Uh, that would put it up to what, 25, 25 fluid ounces. Doesn't look like bomber size, but the shape of the bottle may be uh, misleading. So, big bottle. So, uh, I don't think Steve told me what it may be in the email they sent me. I don't, I don't recall what this bottle of beer costs. Uh, like I said, uh, they're out of Auburn, California. So let's get this thing opened up. And while I'm opening, I'll tell you the cuisine is barbecue, the cheeses, the pepper, Monterey pepper jack shot, blue cheddar, summer cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. 
And the meat is game grilled meat and salmon. That's where our snifter tool up our size wine glass. I got my favorite snifter, the solid beer glass today. And of course being an 8%er they say you can sell it, which is stupidly wrong. Don't sell your IPAs or your double IPAs, guys. You'll regret it. The 8% will make the beer last, but the hops will fade. You don't want that to happen. You want to get all the glorious hops you can get. Without a finger of head on that pour, a nice clear beer, a rich amber color. Good looking beer. I would say it's definitely a filtered beer. Get a nose to it. Citrusy, orange, tangerines. Maybe a slight hint of some pine in there. The orange and the tangerines are standing out more than anything else. And the citrusiness of it. Dust smell is very citrusy. May have some orange rind or zest. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Steve. Little bit of dankness in the taste. Heavy bitterness on the back end. I, I believe it's 100 IBUs for sure. It does have a strong bitterness on the back of it. A little bit of a unique dankness to it, uh, and I, a lot of times I refer that to the cat pee aroma or taste. Oh, I never tasted any cat pee, but a lot of us refer to it like that for the dankness. But to, it does have a strong bitterness on the back of this one. Let's try to get the rest of it in here and see if it clouds it up any. Don't think it's going to on this particular one. Once again, I'm getting a almost like a dandelion taste to it too. And I had one of my subscribers say, "What's dandelions taste like?" Well, go out in your damn yard and pick one of them up, stick it in your mouth, and you'll figure that out real freaking quick. Duh. That's what that's where I'm getting at. Uh, I'm getting a slight hint of some dandelion in there too. So, and that may be because it's chilled right out of the fridge. So let's let it warm up. Let her taste it. Come back and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got this little left here. Uh, very nice beer. The alcohol is very well hidden for 8%. Strong bitterness on the back end here. 100 IBUs. Like I said earlier, not be my first choice if I was trying to get into the IPA style with this much bitterness. But seasoned craft beer drinkers that are used to drinking these big, big IBU beers, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Don't think it's outstanding, world class. Uh, I'm not getting so much dandelion taste now that it's warmed up. I think the hot bitterness is leading me more to that aspect of that bitterness, like a dandelion would have. But decent beer, final toe. It's a nice beer, guys. It really is. Uh, ABV is on there. Bottle Day is on there. So two thumbs up for that. They don't have the IBUs listed. I didn't see it on the bottle anywhere. And like I said, I don't know what Steve paid for this. Uh, but I wish they would put the IBUs on here to let you know that you're picking up a 100 IBU beer. Uh, B plus for me, guys. It's really close to the to the, the, B, the A minus. But uh, I would like to see them put the, the IBUs on there so you know you're getting 100 IBU beer here. Because uh, this is not for the faint of heart. Somebody is trying to get into a double IPA with this much hot bitterness. So I uh, would like to see that on there. It's just me though, guys. It's just me. Uh, and I've had people tell me, and subscribers say, oh, the bitters are not important. It is to me. Am I drinking a 50 IBU double IPA? Am I drinking a 100 IBU double IPA? Because it's going to make a difference in the damn taste. So... If that's your opinion, that's fine. This is my damn opinion. So put the IBUs on there uh, so we'll know what we're getting when we purchase the beer. So 
it's just me though guys that's just my opinion and, uh, and that and 50 cents will buy you a copy at 7-eleven and if you got five dollars to add to that you might get one of starbucks for that uh, but I would like to see the IBUs on the IPAs and the double IPAs, guys. So the entry level guys will know what they're getting. So, guys, that's where I'm going to put it. B plus, numeric rating for me, guys, on this one would be 89. That's where I'm going to put it. Really close to the A minus. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 84. So I'm giving it a whole lot better numbers than those guys are. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 94. So I'm not quite giving it what they've got. I'm up in the middle of the road between those two guys. And over to Untapped, our final check-in, they say 3.81, which is a B-plus number from those guys. So I agree that me and Untapped are usually pretty close in what the actual grade should be and, uh, and not inflated or deflated like a lot of times beer advocate and rate beer is. So uh, they're definitely a decent beer. And guys, if you're used to drinking a big IBU, double IPA, you'll probably like this. It's pretty tasty. Uh, that is all we need to talk about. So if you've had this one, guys, this comes from Auburn Ale House out of Calif Auburn, California. Let me know what you think. This is their isotope. I don't see that on the bottle anymore. It's just got PU240 on it, which is like a element number or element scale uh, what it would be. I don't think that means a whole lot to about anything. It's just a, the name they put on the beer. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. See you once again. I'll thank you, brother. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.